Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Radford Castro is our engineering director here, and we always give him laptops too. Now, I don't know how this worked out, but you got the sexy light laptop, and Shannon got the big heavy <laughs> workhorse laptop. This is a Dell XPS 15. I've been a yes. Dell XPS user for ages. This is kind of the, the IT Pro laptop of choice in business, yes. right? And possibly for gamers too. Oh, really? Well, yeah, tell us this about thing it. It has crazy power behind it. And this is so it's a 15 inch laptop. This is the XPS 15, uh, and it's pretty much aimed at your mid-range up to high high end so we're looking at the 2299 model whoa so this is even this is 300 bucks more than Shannon's yes <laughs> it's 300 bucks more but this is the ultrabook style and right it don't it doesn't have all the crazy MDs like this like you know a heavy adapter or like a DVD or a PCMCI car anything that sort this is for but the executive the CEO executive, yes, the C-level yeah. Or the IT guy, right? Who gets to choose whatever he right, wants, right? <laughs> and it's uh, it has touch, some really it has, right. it's touch based, and um, before I get into the display, because this is that's really the big piece here, um, it has some really nice specs. You're looking at i7, okay, has well, uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM, 512 gigabytes of SSD, SSD, yes, All right. uh, three 3.0 USB ports, uh, mini display, HDMI, Bluetooth 4.0. All the good stuff you'd expect, cameras, all the whiz bangs that, yeah, that you'd expect yeah. to see, including an SD card. So it's really nice, just from the top, just looking at the, the, the specs alone, it's really, really nice. What I really wanted to show off was just the speed at which the display runs at. So this display, and this is the thing that really knocks your stocks off, is it's 3200 by 1800. It's really close. It's it's better than Retina. Wow. 3200 by 1800. 1800. Yeah, it's close to 4K. 4K That's is really like 3800 nice. something. Yeah. Right. So. I mean, very high res, and yet no trouble pushing those camera. pixels. Yeah, it must have a dedicated graphics adapter. I'm yeah, thinking it's, it is. And yeah. the, the the graphics adapter is a GeForce. It's a 750. A, uh, a G Nvidia 750 yeah. is very good. Yeah, 750 GT. Yeah. yeah, so it's pretty ridiculous. And I'm just gonna snap some of the stuff together here, but yeah, it's really, really, really fast. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm thinking this is kind of the creme de la creme. Yeah, let me just follow spend up. 300 bucks more and get this one. Shannon, <laughs> don't buy that big, heavy old one. I think I would. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of liking the dis display. Yeah, the love the display, love the touch. The app with all the drinks How about battery it? life? We were only getting battery five life? hours out of the Toshiba. This one is pushing seven hours. Okay. Right now, if I'm just looking at the desktop. Even with that big screen. Even with this huge screen, just pointing at it right now. Um, you know, Dale's always had the reputation of being uh, kind of the tanks, the boring tanks, this, the, right. the kind of gray boxes. This is pretty nice. It's pretty sexy. You think that's reestablishing Dell as, as a... Yeah. Designer, they're, really, um, they're pushing themselves to the limit with this this yeah, line. So yeah. the XPS line has always been something that's very high end, right. mm -hmm. you know, pushing more pixels and pushing more specs out the door and trying to get things more thinner. I loved my XPS 13, but it looked a lot more like that Toshiba laptop. It was a big old honking brute. <laughs> right. This but is sexy. This the is the new good 13 looking. is beautiful. The one that I reviewed last week, I loved it. And so this is comparable to the 13, just to the 15-inch version yes. of it. Yes. But the 13 doesn't have the same resolution either. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a little, little bit lower key than well, this 15. Well, this is 2300 Now, you can get a lower resolution screen, a small, shorter, smaller processor, and right. that kind of thing right. for lower money. You, you, this sounds like we got the top of the line of yeah, the this XPS This is the top 15. of the line. Actually, you'll expect this kind of resolution even at the mid-range. Really? Yeah. So that's, that's saying a lot, yeah. all things considered. Um, this is a 4K video, and since we've been talking about MWC, this is a, a Barcelona demo, and it's running at, this is 4K per se, but obviously we're running at 3200 by 1800. No frames looking, dropped, beautiful no frames fluid dropped. motion. I mean, just looking at it it's right now, the way it's just, you can do that. yeah, it just destroys anything I've seen before. Yeah. So, um, I mean, just looking at how the texture is, I mean, there's, and this is a YouTube video of all things, you don't even see the artifacts. Right. So it's really, wow. really sharp and ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, obviously the people that are seeing this from the audience won't, you, we'll you're you're see seeing this. it in a lower quality. Right, but, absolutely. Yeah. So, but I mean, just being able to see things like you're inside the trading station and seeing all the different detail. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, it's man, nice. It's just off the wall. So here are some things too I wanted to show off. Um, it does feel very fluid too. Oh, it's very fluid. Well, you'd have to a lot of the horsepower to push all those pixels. Right. And as I was showing that to you, these are actually games that are running in the background. Wow. And. That one just stopped at that moment because <laughs> I just had it running for so long. But <laughs> finally gave up on yeah, you. Yeah, finally gave up on you. But 16 gigs of RAM doesn't hurt. 16 gigs of RAM doesn't hurt at all. Let me see if this pickle me still works. Oh, <laughs> that stopped too. <laughs> oh, you killed it with a 4K video, it. I think, yeah, is what much. happened. 
You're not going to play Halo. No. But at least we can see just even <laughs> the fact that we're running at this resolution, a lot of the games are supporting it. Yeah. So we're this seeing... This would be a good gamer games. laptop then, you think? Oh, it's great. Yeah. Um, if Brian pulls up some of the specs on there, here it is. These are actual fun games running at 1366. <laughs> yeah. But um, these... This is actually very respectable frame rates, you know, for these top games that we're seeing now. But that's a very low yeah, resolution. Yeah, these are low resolution, but the, I mean, a lot of the gamers are, yeah. are playing at either low or somewhat Because they want high. the high frame rates. Yeah, they want yeah. the high frame yeah. rates. And here are some of the comparisons with other laptops, you know, and in terms of just 8.1 performance, running 8.1 on Windows, I mean, it's, it's, it's close to beating the higher end laptops, but those laptops by itself are, are higher priced than this one. So right. you're getting very good value for the dollar. So let's get the pros and cons, right? So the pros is um, it actually looks good too. So that's one thing I didn't get a chance to talk it about. It is gorgeous. It looks yeah. like it, well, it's an ultra book. I shouldn't right, say it's right, gorgeous. Right, right. Is it metal plastic? So this is weird. It has a little split personality. This is a brushed aluminum. Okay. On the front and on the back, it is carbon fiber. Yeah. And that's nice. The, yeah, like it's really really clean. I mean, it's a, it's sort of like a a look that you get used to. But this is one thing I really like. It's a matte surface, so it's very resistant to fingerprints. Love that. And uh, it's, of course, it's using the convex type style keyboard, so your fingers fit re right well. How this much is, does that weigh? This is about 3.6 pounds. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So, Half I as mean, much in as Shannon's. Yeah, this, like, <laughs> destroys yours. Like, if you're going to start your workouts, you use this laptop first. I'm glad but, we started with Shannon's and ended up right, with yours. Right, So if you want to do, like, less sets, you do that one, right? Yeah, you want to do, yeah. like, higher reps, yeah. you use this So one. Shannon's strength training, you're for more endurance. Exactly. Yeah, okay, you want to do endurance okay. stuff, you, you work with this laptop. You know, if you want to work with both, put them on a backpack. Um, well, so yeah. this sounds good. I mean, great battery life, beautiful display. Uh, it's good, nice fit and finish. Oh, yeah. Though, good pros. Uh, what is the con? The cons? Or, just an ugly adapter. <laughs> <laughs> an ugly adapter and that it You're is... You're, like, looking for cons at that yeah, point. Yeah, I was looking for cons yeah. at that point, but I really don't see that many cons. This is a nice choice. Right. You've looked at other 15-inch uh, Windows 8 machines. Would this be your choice among, among all yes. of them? Yes. So with all the choices, I mean, I'm giving this a recommendation, so it's a buy. It's a buy. Mm -hmm. $2299 uh, as equipped, but it yes. starts at $1,500. Mm -hmm. It's the Dell XPS 15. I like it. This is the new Dell. You know, they bought, they, they went private. They, uh, Michael Dell and uh, some investors bought the shares back. And uh, I think maybe this is Dell saying, see, we're not just gray boxes. We oh, do, no. we do, not we do other stuff too. Yep. Very nice. Thank you, Redford. Redford Castro, our director of engineering.